So I'm Tim Buckland and I'm a three time testicular cancer survivor. I was diagnosed a week before my 18th birthday. And then I had three years of scans and blood work and all that fun stuff and uh, ended up being cancer free. And six months later I was diagnosed a second time with testicular cancer. I ended up going in for another surgery. Um, which didn't work all that well and uh, ended up with me going back for a third surgery, a third diagnosis, and four rounds of chemotherapy, which took me four months from January till April. Um, that whole time it was, it was very, very much looking forward to being back on the golf course. It was the one thing that was keeping me going. Uh, I'd go to the, the golf shop and buy clubs and just sit on the couch gripping them and thinking about playing golf. Was the one thing I was able to do without uh, influencing too many people in the house. So when I was younger, especially um, in that 12 range, I was playing competitive golf all the way till I was 17, until I was diagnosed. So I played in Stony Plain, that's my hometown, and uh, I played on their inner club team, either on their elite team or a little bit lower when I was younger, on their intermediate teams. And uh, yeah, I played in plenty of tournaments and placed fairly well in a lot of them, but. And that's kind of what I always wanted to do, is play in those tournaments again. Never given the opportunity to do so, but yeah. Uh, so now I'm seven years cancer free, well, many, many moons ago of going through that. Uh, I work at the Canadian Cancer Society, I volunteer at the Cross Cancer Institute. And uh, yeah, and I'm the first Canadian to win the Mizuno uh, Play Famously contest. I hope this is going to be the start of something bigger. Um, it's really nice to be able to play in tournaments again and and play a little bit more competitive golf. And I hope the tournament in Georgia will be kind of the start of something like that.